Hey, it's Alex. So I recently broke my binder, <clears throat> and uh, I've had it for maybe six months, or less, actually, less than that. But I was it was given to me by a friend of mine, so and he used it um, for like a few years. So it's not a wonder that it broke. Um, but I do have a, another binder, and it's actually given to me by the same person. It's a it's a tri top. I think it it looks like this, so it goes uh, to my stomach, um, and so I intend to bind with that. But it's actually kind of small smaller on me, um, and, and, but I, I I mean I adjust, so it's it's fine. Before I used binders, uh, I did use sports bras, and uh, my chest was. Um, is uh, small enough to fit into one, but I usually bound with like two or three. Sometimes I used an ace bandage too, and that was really bad because it would always like droop, droop down, and like I never had one of those safety pin things to like pin it up uh, securely. <laughs> so I just kind of tucked in the gauze to my <laughs> to the ace bandage. <laughs> not bad, not not good. I wanted to talk uh, a little bit about. Um, neck size and shirts and stuff so I uh, I usually shop at American Eagle because uh, well despite the price um, that's the only place that I find clothes that fit me my torso is very short and my legs are longer like I'm not it, it, it's actually I'm actually proportionate but like my torso is just like 12 inches instead of like you know wider or longer Finding shirts that actually look good on me are very, very slim. Like, and I'm talking like dress shirts here, I guess. Um, American Eagle does not have a lot of dress shirts, but their shirts in general, like this, um, fit me pretty well, and they don't look awkward. So anyway, last night I was at my friend's house, and I tried on a shirt of his because he has the same neck size as I do, and I have a 14 and a half neck. So that would be a small in guys, right? Usually. Um, and I recently got a shirt for uh, from Express uh, from for uh, for my uh, for my Christmas gift, and like the neck, I would button the top button, and it like chokes me. Like, and all of my shirts from before, like the dress shirts, are from Express or American Eagle because they also cater to my size. So my neck size, I was at my friend's house, I tried on his shirt and it was a small in men's, in men's. And so, and it, I buttoned the top button and it didn't choke me. Like, and it was a 14 and a half neck. I think I said that, but whatever. Um, but like, the rest of the material, like my arms and stuff, aren't long enough for the shirt. And even if I roll up the cuffs, like when they're buttoned and I roll them up, it still looks baggy on me, you know? Like, I mean, but then with the express shirts, I, um, I can this, the extra small fits me, but not the neck size. So I can I only leave the top button unbuttoned. I haven't tried on a small yet, but I'm gonna go and exchange the shirt that I got for Christmas because I have it, um, and see if a small actually would work and if it would look good because the extra smalls in express, um. Are like fitted so like they're they're made for thin guys you know instead of like the wide or whatever like athletic fit maybe that's what it is called I don't know my friend and I were like you know really you could you should just get it like clothes tailored you know like and that would make sense but but like it's so expensive and it's like I'm not gonna do that for my whole wardrobe maybe maybe a nice suit I mean obviously I would have to get it tailored for a nice suit but like I'm really sick of shopping the boys section, but like, at the same time, those are the clothes that fit me usually, you know. Anyway, so I just thought that was weird um, that my neck size is big, but like the shirts, like the materials, just don't like look good. And then when I tuck them in, it's like really huge, like a poncho, you know. Like I don't know that that that's what it reminds me of a poncho. I'm wearing a poncho. I don't know why I'm just talking about this but uh does anybody else have that dilemma i i'm i'm pretty sure a lot of people do i mean i've i've been on live journal communities and they're just like oh here's a shirt problem you know i mean uh i'm sure it's common but i guess in that same vein i was wondering if anybody has had this problem it's not really a problem it's just an annoyance really if anybody's had this and um 
has found a method without tailoring to actually work. I want to know about that. But also, if you guys have had this problem and have worked out, has your body kind of adjusted to that, like, shift of clothing, I guess? I mean, or has it just kind of, like, been like, eh? Or do you still have the same problem, I guess? I don't know. Um, anyway, that's, that's a rant for you.